you for providing that context. I'm going to uh, talk about this community engagement strategy that the uh, Department of Planning and Development and CMAP, the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, did. It's very unprecedented to uh, do neighborhood level planning on this large piece of Chicago, uh, several communities at the same time, with broad and deep community engagement. The next slide, can I get the next slide? Yeah, I know you're <coughs> triple tasking. Um, so this photo did not come out as large as it should have, but um, large, large, small photos. Yeah, there we go. This <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you do things on your phone. Um, so this is a picture of one of those planning meetings. We had dozens yeah. uh, of these planning meetings. Uh, there were the official planning meetings that the uh, CMAP and the City of Chicago came out to. Uh, uh, organizations like Next Slide. Um, organizations like uh, the Resident. Keep going. The Resident Association of Greater Inglewood. That's, that's the size it should be. Um, really led the charge, right? And if, I, if my memory serves me correctly, the Red Association of Greater England was instrumental in helping the city figure out what to do with all these available lots. We didn't call them vacant lots. We called them available lots, right? right? It's all about how you frame it, right? Half full, half full, right? Um, and so if you go to the next slide. Um, so through a series of neighborhood meetings, uh, some part of the GHN land use uh, planning process, some part of just the community doing what it does. This is a rage meeting, right? This was, what, Tuesday the 18th of March, two days before the large lot program was announced. So that's Alderman Sawyer there. Uh, I think Gene Chandler came out. Before the program was announced, was able to come out and say, hey, we've worked closely with organizations like Rage uh, to work out this program, and it's coming out in two days. So everybody's happy. Um, but, next slide. Um, and so here is the president of RAGE, Asa Butler. Uh, and again, I'm a founding member of RAGE, so I'm a member, very proud of what we do. Uh, but I also work at Teamwork Inglewood, to be very clear. So I have somebody with a connection to my funder here, so just so nobody gets it twisted. But um, <laughs> uh, so again, we uh, supported the adoption of the uh, land use planning process. And again, I'm giving you like three years in like 30 seconds, right? Um, you can go to the next slide. Uh, and then literally on March 20th, 2014, a planning process that started in fall 2011, around September 2011, came to a conclusion. A planning process that engaged neighborhoods deeply, a planning process that captured all these different neighborhood level plans and adopted as policy the aspirations of the residents. It's a very innovative plan. In Germany, they call it the People's Plan. There are land use planners in Germany, uh, scholars who call this the People's Plan. So this is literally the Chicago Planning Commission. Right? One of the enduring institutions outside of our parks from Burn, from Daniel Burn, right? So his instrument, his vehicle, has survived through the ages and adopted the Green Healthy Neighborhoods uh, land use plan uh, for uh, the city of Chicago. Again, it covered Inglewood, West Inglewood, and all of our neighboring neighborhoods. Uh, uh, all of Woodlawn, all of Washington Park, a piece of Greater Grand Crossing, a little piece of uh, New City. If you go to the next uh, photo. That was supposed to be a large thing too. So that's that's uh, 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 an example of a um, what do they call this? A rendering. The rendering. Yes. Yeah. See the of the large lot program. So if you can just go to the large lots website, 